Hiya, Mick here. In today's video, we're looking at measuring distance on an ordnance survey map. The map I'm going to use is from East West Mapping and it's drawn on a scale of 1 to 25,000. I'd like to measure the distance from the car park here on the north side of Ackle Sound up to the summit of Crook Moor. The grid squares on our map measure 1 km by 1 km. So if I count the grid squares from the car park to the summit of Crook Moor, I think there's 4.5, so that'd be 4.5 km. If I wanted to get a bit more accurate, maybe I could take out my compass and measure using the ruler. We've got measurements in millimetres, but we've also got them in inches. And that could be used then to compare it to the scale bar on the map once we've taken a measurement. The scale bar can be found in the margins of the map, or maybe at the base of the map. Another option would be to use a scale ruler. A scale ruler, of course, being much longer than our compass, so it enables us to measure longer distances. But the simplest and most foolproof option is actually just using a blank piece of paper. Put the corner where we want to start and just mark off with a pen where we want to go. We then compare this to the scale bar on our map, putting the notch we've marked in line with the graduated area and then adjusting the end so it lines up with a full kilometre. And when we look at it here we can see that we've got a distance of 4.8 kilometres. If we find that the scale bar on our map is too short to do this, we can actually use the roamer on our compass to help us. The roamer comes in a number of scales. This one has 1 to 40,000, 1 to 50,000 and 1 to 25,000 and this 1 to 25,000 is the scale of my map. So this time I'm going to line up my piece of paper with one of the grid squares. Each of the grid squares is one kilometre so as we count across we can see we have one, two, three, four kilometres and if I bring in the compass and use the roamer then you can see it brings it up to just under 4.8 kilometres. But this measuring of straight distance isn't so useful if we're out walking. Going from Ackle Sound here up to Crookmore, well really I'm going to follow the road and follow the path for as much as I can. So I'm going to line up a piece of paper and every time I go around a bend on the road I'm just going to tick off a mark that measures the distance out as I go. So I'm coming along just as far as the road goes and I'm coming up onto the mountain track then and I'm just going to mark off again. Each bend I go around I just turn the piece of paper and just mark it off. And I think this brings me up just actually the full length of the piece of paper. So I'll bring that back. To measure it off against me grid squares. So if at the end at the start of one of the grid squares I'm looking at there it's one two three four five across and I'll bring in the compass and just check the last bit with the roamer so it looks like it's 5.3 kilometers altogether. The other thing the roamers use for is helping me with grid references. So if I was looking for Bill's Rocks here well actually I'll go for the most westerly point on Bill's Rocks. From the margins of the map I found that the grid letter is F Counting grid square numbers, I see across it's 5, 4, and then if I move up it's 9, 3. So if I bring in the compass and put the corner of the roamer up on that most westerly point of Bill's Rocks, I'll count the numbers across, so it was 5, 4, and I see it's between the 7 and 8 in the roamer, so that would be 5, 4, 7. And then if I count up the way, so it's 9, 3, and again I see it's between the 7 and the 8, so it would be 9, 3, 7. With this scale of map, we can nearly give an eight-figure grid reference, but we usually find a six-figure is accurate enough. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and if you're on YouTube, subscribe.